Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on my channel. So Microsoft has released a new feature called as field parameters and it is a very interesting and exciting uh, feature which we all were waiting for. I'm going to take you through what this feature does and I'm sure this will get you excited as well. So I have a slicer, a couple of slicers over here. One is named as dynamic axis and the second one as dynamic measure. So right now I've selected ship mode and I have a bar chart and I have a table. I have a pie chart over here as well. I have ship mode selected. So you will see in the table ship mode column is selected and in the measure here I have total quantity selected. That is what is being displayed every where over here you will see that this is ship mode and their values are and percentages over here if i change this to city i will have city displayed over here and the quantity against that city and the uh, chart over here also is changed now to city likewise the bar uh, the donor chart here as well so if i change this to subcategory it changes to subcategory i can also choose multiple uh, uh, dynamic axis over here for example I have selected subcategory country and city as well so in the table over here you will see all these three columns being displayed over here and in the bar chart you also get an option to drill down for example I have selected three categories so it begins from subcategory and I can drill down to this to display country and then I can drill down again to display the city here so likewise you can also do the same thing for the measure as well you can display all the three uh, measures over here you can display total quantity total sales total profit together or if you just want to display total profit and total sales you can do that as well that is being displayed over here in the chart as well here as well in the table so isn't this a super cool feature so i'm sure you guys are waiting to learn how to do this so let's get started with this tutorial so the first thing that you need to do is that you need to go to the file here and click on options and settings click on options you will have to click on preview features and enable field parameters click on ok and then you will have to restart the power bi desktop so let's quickly do that so once you have restarted your power bi desktop you need to go to the modeling tab and click on new parameters now you will see that we have something called as fields this was not available earlier and let's quickly rename this parameter as dynamic axis and let's start adding the fields that we want to display over here. For example, I want city, I want category, I want city, I need country. And let me just scroll down and see what else do I have over here. I have ship mode, I have subcategory. Okay, so these are the categories and I also have an option to rename them if I wish to. I can change this to country and ship mode category and I can reorder them as well. And city, country, let me put city on top so that we have a nice um, drill down functionality as well and then there's add slicer to this page and click on create so you will see a new table will get created over here called as dynamic axis and this is the measure that it is used to create this particular table and we now have a slicer added to our page so what we will now do is let us add some visuals to our page over here let's add some uh, charts and uh, what we will do is we want to let us say display the uh, sales so we will add sales over here and now what we will do here is in the place of y axis we will go to our dynamic axis and pull in this particular field over here so you will see by default you know uh, this is showing us category because that's the first column that we have over here and then we also get the drill down function over here i can simply click on this go to the next category which is it's showing a sales as subcategory when i click again it will take me to the country when i click again it will take me to the cities likewise i can drill down here based on the uh, columns that we have selected over here however let's say you just want to uh, let me add a couple of more visuals before i take forward and let me just turn on the uh, data labels for this particular chart and reduce the size of this and let us uh, add another visual over here and uh, let's change this to a table and uh, in this particular table we have all these values right so let us see what happens when i start working with these uh, uh, with the slicer now so if i select let's say subcategory you will only see you will see the chart here by subcategory and the table here is filtered for subcategory and the respective sales amount. Likewise, if I click on country, 
the, 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 the visuals here change for country and if I click on city, you will only see the details here for city. How cool is that? We've been working around doing a lot of other stuffs, creating different measures to uh, achieve what we need to achieve today. But Power BI has come up with this super cool feature wherein you can just do this by with a couple of clicks. All right, so you can also add multiple uh, columns, for example. So I have added, uh, let us say, uh, city and ship mode. So I have city, ship mode and sales. And what happens here is that you get a drill down function. So if I go to the next level over here, it will take you to the sales by ship mode. And also notice how dynamically uh, the sales, uh, the uh, title of the chart changes as well. So if I select subcategory over here, it changes to subcategory. So isn't this really cool? So it does not really stop here. We can take this to the next level as well, wherein we have dynamic measures as well. For example, you have total sales over here. What if you want to uh, have a slicer to uh, switch between total sales and total profit? We can do that as well. What if you want to have a slicer to switch between total sales versus the percentage of sales? You, we can have that as well. So let's go to the modeling tab, click on new parameter over here, go to fields and let's uh, change this to dynamic measure. And select the fields here that you want to display. For example, I have total profit, I have total quantity, I have total sales. And if you have percentage of grand total or if you have any sort of different percentages, you can select those uh, uh, measures as well and then click on create. And as usual, what we need to do is that, so we need to change the values here from X axis. So instead of the sales here, we will select the dynamic measure value and bring this over here in the X axis. So now you will see by default, all three categories here are being displayed, which is profit, profit quantity and total sales. Likewise, we will do it for this table as well and bring in dynamic measure. You will see all these three columns being displayed over here. However, what if you just want to look at only profit? So simply you can click on total profit here and only profits will be displayed for that particular category. And let's say if you want total profit and total sales only, you can do that and you can see that being displayed here on the chart, total profit, total sales and over here as well. And you can also select the dynamics axis as well here in this case you can select the ship mode and see what's the uh, sales and what's the profit for those particular categories so isn't this a very super cool feature uh, which is released by power bi i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials